Hi, it's Kylie from Painted Wing. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how I painted this fox with watercolors. For this painting, I'm going to be using six main colors. Burnt Umber, Payne's Gray, Yellow Ochre, Burnt Sienna, and Minnesota Pipestone and Lunar Earth by Daniel Smith. If you don't have all of these colors, that is okay. Just find something similar. I'm going to begin by taking a number 12 brush, dipping in water, and applying it to the chest of the fox. I will then dip my brush into Payne's Gray paint and then apply it to where I just put the water. Here you'll notice me add gray paint and then blend it out. Here I'm going to outline the jaw with Payne's Gray using a number 3 round brush. I will then take a clean brush dipped in water and then use it to blend out the area to create a gradient. I'm going to continue using a clean brush dipped in water to blend out this area. Now using my smallest round brush, I'm going to create little hairs. While this area is still wet, I'm going to add a little bit of table salt, and then let it dry. Now I'm going to add a mixture of burnt sienna and Minnesota Pipestone paint. Now using a clean brush dipped only in water, I'm going to blend this out. Now I'm going to add a little bit more paint. For this part of the painting, I'm just going to be adding colors at random and let the watercolors do their work. It is best not to overthink this process and just keep moving. For this part of the painting, I'm going to add an intentional drip. I'm first going to oversaturate the paint here, make sure it's super wet, and then tilt my paper. Now I'm going to add some yellow ochre and burnt sienna to the wash. While the paint is still wet, I'm going to add a little dash of salt. Using a small brush, I'm going to paint in some fur on the fox's back. Here I'm adding a little bit of burnt umber to create shadows. For the ears, I'm adding a light layer of Payne's Gray. Here I am also adding a light layer of gray. While I paint, you'll notice me bounce around to different sections. This is to allow the paint to dry. Now that the first layer has dried, I'm going to add a little more of Payne's Gray here. Since watercolors are a transparent medium, you want to slowly add up layers.
Here I'm adding brush strokes that are meant to represent the fox's fur. I'm creating expressive marks because I want my painting to appear painterly rather than realistic. Now for the ears, I'm adding a saturated amount of Payne's Gray so it appears almost black. Now using a wet brush, I'm going to blend the black with the orange paint already on the fox. After the layer dries, I'm going to add a few hairs with a small brush. For the fox's face, I'm going to add multiple light layers of burnt sienna paint. Again, in order to increase the darkness, I'm just adding multiple layers of paint. It is important to not get the paper too wet as it can ruin the quality of it. To create a stronger contrast, I'm adding burnt umber to the burnt sienna.
I'm going to start off the eye using a light layer of burnt umber. While I paint the eye, you'll notice that I'm leaving a white spot for a highlight. I will also be adding more paint to the upper part of the eye to create a shadow. This will help the eye appear more realistic. For an even stronger contrast, I'm going to add some Payne's Gray to the eye. Now I'll be adding whiskers with my smallest brush. For the nose, I'm going to outline it with a small brush and then fill it in. While the paint on the nose dries, I'm going to add a few more layers on the rest of the fog.
Here I am adding the last of the details using a small brush dipped in paint gray. Here's the final result of the fox. I really enjoy the illustrative quality of it. I like combining tight watercolors with loose watercolors. It's such a diverse medium and it's fun to see what it can do. If you enjoy watching my paintings, please consider following me on Instagram at painted underscore wing or even supporting me on Patreon.